As recently as a few days ago, popular YouTuber and rapper Young Philly has been accused of some very serious allegations in Australia, which led to a recent arrest. There's videos floating all around YouTube, but I want to give you the most up-to-date summary for all recent events chronologically. Let's get into it. Young Philly gained buzz early on for his Asking Awkward Questions series on YouTube. In these videos, he would go around London asking random people questions, pretty self-explanatory. You play a bit every night before you go to bed, you get caught fiddling with it at work, and you only let a selected few play with it. What is it? A selected few. Yeah. You might even let the man them play with it. Bro, I'm not letting man them play with nothing. Um. <laughs> Philly would continue to grow, but not without the help of his close friend and fellow YouTuber Chunks, and their collaborations would go viral. Chunks is also a part of the popular UK-based collective known as Beta Squad. As recently as last year, the two even started a podcast together. Philly rose to prominence by uploading videos to YouTube, but it's clear that his true passion was music. Philly went on to release multiple tracks that garnered over tens of millions of views. But the timing of these allegations has led some to speculate about a connection to young Philly's recent song, Tempted. Released just just a month prior to the recent charges. The lyrics of the song, which expresses themes of temptation and desire, have fueled online discussions and raised many eyebrows. However, Philly may have a lot of time to hone his skills behind bars after he was charged with some very disgusting crimes on October 9th. We begin with breaking news, and a popular musician and YouTuber from the UK known as Young Philly has been extradited from Queensland to WA, accused of serious sexual assault allegations following an incident in Perth. Straight to our reporter, Rachel Clifford for the details. Rachel, the 29-year-old, has been charged with multiple offences. Lara, they are serious offences. He's facing four counts of sexual penetration without consent, three mm. counts of assault occasioning bodily harm, and one count of impeding another person's normal breathing or circulation. Detectives from the Sex Assault Squad say the 29-year-old man sexually assaulted a woman in her 20s in his Perth hotel room after he performed at an event in Hillary's on September. 28. The man, a well-known DJ from the UK, Andre Felipe Valencia Barentos, also known as Young Philly, was taken into custody in Brisbane and extradited to Perth last night under police custody. He'll face Perth Magistrates Court today and Lara officers are asking anyone with further information to contact Crime Stoppers. The allegations against Young Philly stem from an incident in Perth, Australia, where he was accused of essaying a woman in her 20s in his hotel room after performing at an event in late September of this year. The charges include four counts of him acting without consent, three counts of assault occasioning bodily harm, and one count of impeding another person's normal breathing or circulation. The prosecutors also state that their case is extremely strong, supported by CCTV and photo evidence. Yeah, it's not looking good. Adding to the controversy resurfaced allegations from 2021 suggests that a young Philly may have been involved inappropriately with a 17-year-old girl. A video clip circulating online allegedly shows young Philly Philly messaging the girl, who claims to have been 17 at the time, and sending her suggestive messages. I, I feel like I've got a song. And to be honest, I never planned on saying anything at all. It's only because of what's come out now that I feel like I should have said something in the past and I should say something now. Four years ago, I, I spoke to young Philly on Instagram DM. He DM'd me and I ended up going to his flat. Him and his management, they worked very hard to manipulate me, obviously me when I was 17, and to make me feel like if I said anything, then they could ruin my life, my life would be over, you know, it'd be awful for me, awful for my mental health. So they convinced me to stay quiet. Maybe it could have been prevented if I'd said something before. I was 17. And when it first happened, the incident, um, I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. I was very alone and I was very embarrassed and I literally didn't know what to do. These allegations have sparked widespread debate online, with some defending young Philly based on the legal age of consent in the UK being 16 years old. However, many critics argue that a significant age gap between- That doesn't make it right to link up with a minor or to do anything with a child that's stupid. Whoever made that a thing in their particular area they located at in their country, they need to be questioned. Who says that? Who would even make that a thing? That's weird.
between a 26 year old man and a 16 year old girl raises ethical concerns, even within the legal boundaries of consent. Adding to the complex picture, Chunks and many of Young Philly's associates have been pulled into this. A clip from their podcast surfaced online where Chunks acknowledges hearing stories about Philly when talking about him hypothetically marrying his sister. This was the absolute worst time for this to resurface with everything going on right now. Yeah, I would have let you marry my family, but yeah. Why? Uh -huh. I'm a good man. Yeah. What's wrong with me? <laughs> no, I have too many stories. But anyway, yeah. What stories? Huh? Been to the last of them. Yeah, you can tell his friend don't really trust him like that. You can tell his his fat friend don't really trust him like that. He said he wouldn't let him marry his sister. And he talking about why not? He said, nah, I heard too many stories. See, hey, even close people will pull away from you. You're doing bad things to people. People will pull away from you. you. You acting like you can just hurt people and thinking there's no consequences. You think you can do inappropriate things and expect to not have no consequences. That's not how the world works. Everybody has an image. I don't care about no reputation image. Like how you treat people says a lot about your character. When you're doing some wild stuff like that, that's going to come back to hunt you, especially online, regardless. I mean, God's watching, obviously. So you, you're getting karma. You're getting karma. No matter if you try to um, tell people to not say nothing, people want to say something. The word's going to get out eventually. I'm not just, that's very scary. Yeah, man. but what's that got to do with you when I'm clotting? You've just got to worry about I'm treating your sibling good. A few days ago, Chunks would briefly address the case, stating that he can't speak on it. My people's like everyone I've had to reports coming out of Australia. Um, whilst I understand many of you want my reaction on it, um, as this is an ongoing court case, I hope you guys can understand that I can't and won't be commenting on it publicly. Um, so yeah, I've just come on here to basically let you know the reasons as to why I can't. Love. Around the same time, we will see many people on social media defend Philly's character, and I'll let you hear it for yourself. Philly is someone that I know and get on with, right, okay? I'm not here to say things did or didn't happen. All I'm here to say, to tell you even, is my side of the story. My experiences with Philly made me feel comfortable. I, When we rekindled um, this year, there was actually, I, I'm going to make a point of saying this, there was a point where he was like, if you don't want to do if you don't want to do anything, if you don't want to, bear in mind, we'd spoken last year. We, we'd been um, seeing each other last year. And even then he was like, if you, if you don't want to do anything, if you're, not, if you're not comfortable, we don't have to. I just want to make a point of, he's never made me feel any pressure. And I think until we've got definitive answers to the question, I'm not discrediting what's happened. I don't know the ins and outs and probably neither do you. Um, I'm just here to give a balanced side of the story. You know what I mean? Just give you, someone that's actually ha knows him following his arrest young philly appeared in court and was granted bail with a substantial bond of one hundred and twenty two thousand dollars however he faces strict conditions including a travel ban passport surrender mandatory reporting to the police station multiple times a week social media restrictions and limitations on his movements within the vicinity why why does these rich people always get in trouble why are these content creators getting in trouble well not all consecrated, but these kind of people, like they think they can't get touched. You can't go around just because you got money now, you can't get touched. But great power comes with great responsibility. You still gotta remain true to yourself. You still gotta remain you still have you still have to have morals when you when you get rich. You can't just automatically think, oh, you can't get touched. I don't gotta abide by these rules. I can do whatever I want. I can harass you if, you know, you can't say, you can't think like that. You got to protect yourself when you got success. You got to protect yourself. You got to protect your image. You got to protect that by any means of the alleged victim or witnesses. Despite the gravity of the allegations, the identity of the alleged victim remains unknown. Rumors circulated online mistakenly identifying a woman named India Noel as the victim, leading to online harassment and death threats. Ultimately, Young Philly's arrest was not just a personal blow to his career. It reverberates throughout the vast network of creators and brands that he's associated with. He's a prominent figure within a large group of UK YouTubers, including the Sidemen and Beta Squad, with whom he has collaborated extensively. He also has significant 
significant ties to media, having hosted shows on BBC and Channel 4. Beyond his digital footprint, Philly has cultivated partnerships with major brands like Heinz, Meta, the British military, and Captain Morgan. He worked with charities like Stand Up to Cancer and the Prince's Trust, which are both good influences for the youth. This widespread network means the fallout from his arrest will have far-reaching consequences, potentially impacting both his career and the reputations of those he collaborates with. And Philly is already feeling said consequences. The Sidemen have recently privated a 20v1 starring him that had mm. over 40 million views. The Football Association That's can't- crazy. You see, people don't want nothing to do with this man. You see how it's going to hurt people's reputation? They, 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 they being smart. They pulling out. They really just pulling away from this man. It's smart. It's a good business move. And they don't want their reputation to get stained. They don't want... See, the side men, they smart. They're smart. They don't want nothing to do with this man. When you get multiple claims of you doing this and that to other people, when you get an essay charge repeatedly, you obviously did it. You obviously did it. You obviously done something you had no business doing. That's your fault. That's really your fault at this point. You're burning bridges with so many big content creators, with big artists. People don't want nothing to do with no essay offender. I'm, let's be real. You weird, bro. You don't know how to have self-control. You can't go around and act stupid, man. Karma is really a thing, bro. So this cookery show foot asylum has terminated their contract with him immediately major fast food chain german donor kebab has distanced itself as well removing him from various social media posts his clothing line Dude, they do they literally doing him just like uh what's his other, what's his other dude name what's also called being a weirdo dealing with kids it was uh dr disrespect yeah they're literally they are canceling this man just like dr disrespect he's losing brand deals he losing uh YouTube uh, partner revenue. Uh, he's losing uh, YouTube collaborations. People don't want nothing to do with them. They're cutting them. They cutting themselves away from this man. They don't want nothing to do with him. He lost brand deal sponsorships. Got kicked out from different um, channels, from different shows. He's losing. He's losing his uh, uh, spot, uh, brand deal with a company or something. Plex was pulled from shelves, and his first live show for his podcast with Chunks has of course been canceled. Young Philly's next court appearance is scheduled he for lost. December 19th, and I hope justice is served. Now a few things. Based on him being extradited to Australia in such a timely manner, on top of the whisperings of there being CCTV and photo evidence, it's hard for me to believe that Young Philly is completely innocent. On top nah, of the countless innocent. stories of how he is when the cameras are off. Not crazy. <laughs> Choking her? What's like no, trying to kill her? Not like a choke, it was more like a... <laughs> You know what I mean? What the f Yeah, yeah, see, look. Yo, okay. Monkey see, monkey do, bro. All right. And despite a few people coming to his defense, one of his closest friends, Chunks, didn't even drop a statement speaking good things about Philly's character. I understand this is an ongoing case and you want to keep your brand deals and stuff, so that may be a reason as well. But either way, it's still- That may be a reason or most likely he probably cannot say nothing, so it don't affect him neither. Because he can lose a lot of, like, respect or he, he can have a lot of hate he can slander his own name just by trying to defend him and he don't want nothing bad to happen on his part because obviously he done he's a pedo obviously this dude's a weirdo but uh I don't know if they got any more to say. But... It doesn't look good. One clip that is very eerie looking back on is Philly speaking on not using a certain R word. To be in prison. Hey. Yeah, bro. And that, that's why TV? I wouldn't want to do true crime. Not R words for me. I don't even like saying it, bro. Whether he is found guilty or not guilty, the damage to young Philly's brand and reputation may already be unsalvageable. Well, that's on him. Uh, that's it for this rest video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.